It's just really important that we start celebrating our differences. Let's start tolerating first, but then we need to celebrate our differences. It is very hard to be a female leader. While it is assumed that any man, no matter how tough, has a soft side and a female leader is assumed to be one-dimensional. Be bold. If you are going to make an error, make a doozy, and don't be afraid to hit the ball. Men can have a huge turnover of sponsorship and still survive a lot better than the women. But the women's ratings are better, at least at home in the United States than in the men's tennis. Men still get a lot more opportunity. It is still a big part of the old boy network. They have more companies they can get money from. Please like, share, subscribe and press the bell icon. It's fun to meet people from throughout the world who you don't have to explain yourself to. I like entrepreneurial people. I like people who take risks. When they take surveys of women in business, of the Fortune 500, the successful women, 80% of them, say they were in sports as a young woman. In 1973, women got 59 cents on the dollar, now we are getting 74 cents on the dollar. In the area of finance and business, we are at 68 cents on the dollar. Sports teaches you character, it teaches you to play by the rules, it teaches you to know what it feels like to win and lose, it teaches you about life. Tennis taught me so many lessons in life. One of the things it taught me is that every ball that comes to me I have to make a decision. I have to accept responsibility for the consequences every time I hit a ball. There is no life for girls in team sports past Little League. I got into tennis when I realized this, and because I thought golf would be too slow for me, and I was too scared to swim. Please subscribe. Thanks for watching.